Hey, welcome back to Mike's Diabetes World. It's Mike, and just let me turn, sorry, I did turn my compressor off. Now, today I want to discuss what is it like in an insulin reaction? You know, there's many videos on here. So I gotta stop touching my face, sorry. Um, about what is it like to have a reaction? And for me, it's a little different. And I think I may have done these w once in the past. But the biggest thing I would have as sort of a young trainer was my, uh, or a training secretary at the time, or assistant, or whatever you want to call them, said, well, why don't you just sit down and eat something when you feel them come on? Well, my problem is, I don't feel them come on. I have a condition called hypoglycemia unawareness. And I think throughout my years, a lot of times I would run at a low blood sugar thinking, oh well, you know, I'm going to get my numbers that much better. The problem is, I think we end up hurting ourselves more. You need to, sorry my eye, you need to be awake of what's going on in your body. When you have the symptoms of a low deal with it. If you're finding you're going low during different parts of the day, deal with it. And while I'm saying deal with it, take your blood sugar, treat it. Now, I was in the hospital once, once, only once, and this was on the North Shore in Lionsgate Hospital. And I said I felt low and the nurse I had at the day, bless her heart, started treating me with sugar. And when the doctor came around, the doctor just exploded. How do we know if he was really low or he was just faking it? Trust me, diabetics don't want to fake it. If you are faking it, you've got to find out why you're faking it. Oh yes, I just want a chocolate bar. Well, count the carbs. A type 1 diet is a little different than a type 2's diet. Type 2, they usually want you to follow a pretty rigid um, food schedule. Like I was saying, um, what is it? There's no sorts of fruits. Um, I think some of the darker vegetables are off the table. And, of course, the whole viewpoint is less sugar, get you down, slim weight. A diabetic, type 1, it's pretty well, you know, occasionally, if you want that chocolate bar, have the chocolate bar, but count for the carbs and take the insulin. You ever want to think, oh, well, my doctor's going to be so mad I had a piece of cake on my birthday. As long as you're not doing it all the time, what's the friggin' problem? And any doctor who gets upset with you over this, well, maybe it's time you find a new doctor. Now, in all my time and in all my, um, endocrinologists, I've had five. There's only been one that I would have said out the door. If I was an adult, I would say, I'm not going to go see him anymore. I've had, uh, I won't say the first guy's name, but I had Dr. John Hunt, Dr. I don't know his first name, Tildesley, but the funny thing was I went to a scout camp or a cub camp 
with his son and he was there. Um, three was Dr. Clarissa Wallace, which I had for like well over 20 years until she retired. And four was, oh, who is Dr. Shu, the one I've got now. And they're all great. They're all on their A game. Now, if you have a low, take the time to rest after a low. If you're at work, you know, and you're racing to get to a meeting, and, you know, don't race after. Take your time. You know, there's always going to be time for more meetings, but you need to take care of that low. You need to have a sugary drink or some form of hard candy or cake icing, though I haven't seen it in the squeeze bottles much lately. But get your blood sugar up so that you're able to continue and perform at your best ability. Don't sort of sit there and wait and say, oh well, yeah, I'll do that later. I don't feel so well right now. That, you know, is it going to wash? Now, I was surprised with the amount of lows I had that, you know, oh, business trip comes up. Oh, great, I'll go on the business trip. I don't know why. Now, that's kind of, that's the old bike. And, you know, I really had to, uh, get some sense knocked into me. Now, you may have all grown up, uh, not all, sorry, you may have grown up with a type 1 diabetic and never seen a low. You may work with someone and never seen a low because a lot of times people feel lows are a sign of weakness. They're not. If you end up taking too much of your medication, for, I don't know, back problems and you're a little loopy. You know, no one's going to criticize you. Oh, well, but you should know better. It's everything. We should know better. We don't know better. That's why we ended up in this situation. Don't let things get to you, for God's sakes. Don't worry that you're treated as a low. A low is a sign of weakness. It isn't. And if anyone's taunting you because they're a low blood sugar, move on. Get away from them. If you have a chance of working with someone else, work with someone. Don't let them get you down. Now, it's kind of like the old adage, if someone's bullying you in the playground, go and play with someone else. Get away from them. Well, if someone's putting pressure on you for being a diabetic, get away from them. Go do something else. Treat your lows. And, you know, I know an awful lot of diabetics who, sorry, who are great on taking, you know, sweets to the office, but they don't take them with them to meetings. You know, 10 to 1, that's a stressful situation, and that's probably going to cause you to go low if you're going to go low. So, take them with you. I think we're all important to remember. Diabetics can be fragile, they can be great, strong, but don't worry about things. Now, I can remember working in the convenience store, 
And when I was alone, I always used to think, what happens if I go low? Well, I had the pop there. I had anything there. I had, sugar, I had a whole aisle of sugar stuff. So you can make it work. Don't be embarrassed of being low. Because remember, if you're low and you feel embarrassed by it, diabetes controls you. You need to control diabetes. Don't let diabetes control you. You control diabetes. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Probably in the same position. Have a great day. Talk. Bye.